there this is Vahid from VR education channel and welcome to another session on Qt framework one of the most uh, important feature of uh, Qt framework is Qt creator an ID that lets you design your application GUI at design time without uh, using Qt creator it's somehow a little hard to create all the things that you want for large applications on the other hand Qt creator lets you or lets developers to add their custom widgets to this toolbox here we have a lot of standard widgets but sometimes we need to create uh, some uh, custom widgets in order to use them in our applications and if you watch the previous sessions on my channel you might already know how to create a custom widget and add it as a plugin to Qt creator we checked uh, all of these uh, custom widgets in previous sessions and also I have uh, a couple of videos about how to create these uh, kind of widgets step by step so if you are not familiar with this concept first go and uh, watch those videos and then continue on this one today I'm gonna show you another custom widget that I created for my application a new or an advanced uh, table widget we already have a table widget here uh, here we have a queue table widget you can drag and drop an instance of uh, table widget on the form but you need to do all other stuff for example adding items to it at design time at a uh, runtime uh, format it or uh, paginate it these are some basic functionalities that most of developers need to have when they want to work with table widget so I add all of them to another widget named vtable widget let's drag and drop a vtable widget on the form as you can see here we have a table widget inside and also a couple of uh, widgets uh, bottom of uh, the table widget these are used for pagination okay let's see how this kind of thing is gonna work first of all we have a couple of uh, properties here for example you can set vertical and horizontal headers as a string uh, for your uh, table for example I'm gonna use a couple of numbers six rows you can see we have six rows here with these uh, headers and also we can have some columns here for example name age mm, city and the other ones okay so here we have three columns let's change them also to some numbers I will have one two three four five and six so we have six columns uh, here just uh, the same as the rows and you can see we have a number of columns and uh, rows here and also we have uh, one option here it says row per page and you can see it here at design time also you, it's accessible we have different options uh, 10 20 50 and 100 items when you have a lot of rows it's not a good uh, approach to load all of them into the table widget uh, at once we need to paginate it and go through the uh, pages using these options and I'm going to show you uh, very soon and also you can disable it sometimes you don't need to have pagination so you can hide it here you can uh, see a normal table widget but most of the time we need to use it and also you have a stretch last session last section just like a uh, table widget or you can uh, use horizontal resize mode I'm gonna use it to stretch so it's gonna uh, divide the space between all the columns equally and uh, let's talk about uh, these options uh, a, li a, li uh, a little bit later so if you want to work with this widget you just need to pass a list of Q string list or a list of Q variant list you just need to put your data inside this kind of these two kind of lists and then this widget gonna load it automatically into Q table widget and also you can uh, use alternate color we will see it very soon let's uh, do it I'm gonna add a button on the form a push button its name is load the name is btn load btn load um, oops btn load and I'm gonna use this layout so let's go to a slot for this button inside this slot I'm gonna provide a list of QSTring list item in order to load them inside the vtable widget so I uh, uh, wrote the code before and I'm just gonna paste it here yeah, I'm gonna uncomment all these codes here we have a list of QS string list or a list of uh, list of a string and here we have 42 rows and in each rows we have five uh, items or five columns and um, they fill with some numbers using these two indexes 
and at the end when I prepared my data I'm gonna say UI dot um, vtable widget dot set uh, data source and just pass the data it has two overloads and we will check the other ones uh, very soon let's run the application we are waiting uh, so that's it um, okay yeah we have oops, something went wrong what's happened to pagination things show pagination yeah let's try it one more time yeah here we have it and if we press load button you can see all those rows or all those items are uh, added to table grid uh, with pagination we have 10 rows uh, in each page so we have five different pages and you can uh, go through the pages using these buttons as you can see data change and in the last page we only have two rows and you can go to the first page go to the last page or you can for example uh, say I'm gonna go to page number three so it's page number three or you can change uh, the number of items or number of rows per page so here we have 20 items inside each page here we have only three pages one two and it's the last page and if you change it to uh, 50 or 100 we only have one page so this button does not do anything and if you scroll down you can see we have 42 items here and also alternate row color uh, enabled by default and we don't have anything to put inside the last column so you should be uh, uh, take uh, consideration for the data to be prepared to the columns uh, um, uh, appropriately and also you can change the or you can say I don't need to have any uh, alternate color for rows let's run one more time here if we press you can see all the data show in one color but most of the time we need to uh, distinguish between different rows so this alternate color is a good uh, I think uh, feature that I added to uh, this library so we can I choose another color so you can customize it based on your needs and yeah the color change so that's it on the other hand sometimes it's uh, it's a little bit hard to convert uh, all the data into a string for example here we only have data imagine that we have date date time boolean values uh, the other things you need to convert all of them into uh, string so you can ignore this part and just pass a queue variant list you can add a data with any type to a queue variant list so let's uh, bring another uh, sample code and this time we have a list of Q variant list so we have a 55 rows here and inside it we have a integer number floating point number a date time a string and also a boolean so these are different kind of uh, data inside one variant list and the table widget gonna convert all of them into a string and behave the appropriate uh, uh, somehow behavior for uh, specified values for example for boolean we're gonna show um, checkbox uh, in the table widget and also you can change the um, way that you want to show the date time using a uh, date format and also you can uh, set the decimal point for um, decimal numbers these are can be changed here by default we have this format for our dates and also we have two, de two decimal points for um, decimal or float values let's run the application and see the output so if I uh, run low you can see here we have uh, some uh, decimal values with just uh, two decimal points here we have the date with the specified time, date time format that's a string and for the boolean values we have uh, checkboxes so you can see if uh, this item is set to true or false and also you can change them based on your needs let's add another one for example here I'm gonna say D D D uh, 4 D I think uh, 3m D Y Y something like this let's see. and also I'm gonna change the, the decimal point to 3 
so it's gonna add three decimal points for all the float and double values inside the variant list let's press the load yeah as you can see here we have friday uh, today is uh, uh, november 24th and it's friday and it's 23 so i added a uh, um, date uh, for each row so here you can see we have uh, some item here and here we have three decimal points for each values and also we have uh, pagination we have uh, 55 rows for uh, 10 rows per page so we have six different pages and in the last page we just have five rows so that's it this is our uh, simple vtable widget uh, that's gonna help you load data easily and in future I'm gonna add filtering capabilities add some widgets above each column and let you look for some items imagine that you have thousands of rows inside your uh, table and it's paginated so you're looking for uh, some specific values so you need to add uh, you need to look for those values inside your um, widget and I'm gonna add it to this uh, grid and also in the next step I'm gonna set it in a way that you can easily add uh, some object as data source uh, with some condition that you need to inherit from Q object and also um, you add Q property for all the fields that you want to load inside this table widget into that this is the future works for this table widget and also i'm going to add the uh, github repository for this table widget uh, uh, to the video description so we can download it and uh, make use of this in your projects so uh, let me know uh, your opinion about this widget and till next uh, session and another feature inside this widget goodbye